capté, on va dire, euh, la petite sirène. Du coup, on s'est un peu vénère. Mais on est resté calme parce qu'on savait que ce n'était pas lui le, co le coupable. Mais bon. Et nous sommes finalement tombés sur, bah, du coup, encore les deux petits gros, là, deux, mais je ne sais plus comment ils s'appellent, là, et ce coup-ci avec leur boss, donc euh, avec une hache, donc euh, ce que je pense être la fameuse, euh, la fameuse meurtrière de tous ces crimes. Mais elle, mais ce n'est pas le cerveau, en fait, ce n'est pas le cerveau de l'organisation, parce que c'est quelqu'un d'autre dans une bagnole qui est le cerveau, donc on s'est un peu mis vénère. Du coup, on, aurait, on a eu le choix de tuer l'un des deux, des deux, des deux sous-fifres de, du mal. Bon, on l'a pas fait. On s'est bien transformé en gros méchant loup, mais je les ai pas tués pour le principe que je ne suis pas un meurtrier. Et euh, je me suis fait exploser de balles. Voilà, voilà. Donc, euh, et finalement, j'ai survécu. Blanche-Neige a quand même... Pour éviter que je meure, elle a quand même livré Cabot Crane aux méchants. Donc au final, ben, voilà. Donc euh, maintenant on se retrouve, on sait pas, on est entre la vie et la mort, et voilà, c'était à peu près là où on s'en était arrêté. Et sinon toujours avec les recherches, tout ça, ça a continué, ça a abouti, on a trouvé plusieurs trucs, des indices que finalement on a trouvé que Kikabot Kray n'était pas vraiment le coupable de tout ça, et que moi je soupçonnais beaucoup plus la, la méchante reine de, de Alice au Pays des Merveilles. Moi je pense que c'est vraiment un truc comme ça, parce que, après bon je dis ça, mais moi je la prends comme ça, parce que c'est vraiment le... Avec ces deux petits gardiens des cartes là. Donc euh, voilà. Allez, c'est parti, on traîne pas plus. Alors attendez 30 secondes. Attendez. Voilà, alors c'est parti. Voilà, on est comme d'habitude lancé pour euh, à peu près deux heures, hein, deux heures de vidéo pour ce quatrième épisode. Donc le dernier épisode se tendra comme d'habitude le samedi soir à mini pile. Donc la semaine prochaine, on conclut en quelque sorte cette saga, cette saison là actuellement sur ce jeu. Et ce sera une surprise pour la nouvelle, pour le nouveau jeu que je vous présenterai euh, dans deux semaines euh, le samedi soir. Voilà, je vous en dis pas plus. Alors, on va y voir dans Extra. Alors, on avait déjà regardé tout y... la dernière fois, donc euh, allez, on va se lancer directement sur l'épisode, on perd pas de temps. Je regarde bien que vous voyez l'épisode, c'est nickel, vous le voyez. Allez, c'est parti. Épisode 4. Voilà, voilà, allez, hop, on se lance. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? <laughs> But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. 
Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What... what happened to me? There was... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Ok. Comme un bonhomme. Ah. Allez. Oh non. For heaven's sake. Ah oh, merde. Oh. Là j'avais oublié de mettre la touche. That wasn't so difficult, <laughs> was it? Bon c'est mieux comme ça quoi. <laughs> probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need this to work. So, don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. Hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen Please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney.
So, how do you, um, feel? Ça peut aller. It's Bigby Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. Merci. Pour tout ce que vous avez fait sans vous, je pense pas you, que je serai encore uh, là parmi vous aujourd'hui. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works pas. out yet, bizarre, but mais... I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Mm -hmm. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Zigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. 
Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? C'est trop beau qu'on a dit des choses, mais... That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Oh, uh, d'accord. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an Alors. Ah, elle est l'animatrice, ok. Myra. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Ouais, Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Mm, hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. I don't know. Snow come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Salut, Matpad. Petite sirène.
Hi, Sheriff. Salut. Hi, Narissa. Comment vas-tu depuis Alors, Comment seen. on voit les affaires hein. <rire> Allez. Alors, qu'est-ce que tu as à me dire Des infos Are you okay? Je connais des jours meilleurs. Good last night. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Si tu veux. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? For see you. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Putain. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any plus. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. But you thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. So I should remark it. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Si je te l'enlève, est-ce que ça va te faire du coup parler Je pense que ça va pas la tuer. Putain. You mind if I just... No Les lips sont sealed What You can't Just stay back Ok, ok. You can't do that Slow down, it's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Ça vous tue? Putain, je voulais pas la traumatiser, mais what the fuck? Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Crever en quelque sorte. Est-ce 
Excuse-moi. Je savais pas. If anyone finds out I came here. Ok, cache-toi. That's probably snow. Mais cache-toi quand même. Listen, sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. Okay. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, I see you. No. Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Why? They said they wanted to talk to you about something. Mm. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. Thank that it. was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? I don't know. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. Oh, je me démerderai, t'inquiète. Bon. Le truc de la de Narissa, on verra après. On va d'abord voir c'est quoi le truc de l'appel. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean... Oh. Bet. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Figby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, alright? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Ok. Ouais. Je sais pas que ça fout trop des caprices de la bête. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem. Ouais, laissez parler. We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? 
Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone we'll right now, finish this conversation so first. I should we'll get, get back that. to you come on. as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking oh, message uh, one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you would have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? La bête. The crooked oh, man's gonna get his, one way or another. Barbe bleu. Qui c'est, putain. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Okay. The Crooked Man's behind that place. Absolutely I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The crooked man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Okay. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's over now. 
Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Mm hmm It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Kitty well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Bigby. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Putain. Mm -hmm. Ok, Bloody Mary. À la boucherie, je crois, et Lucky Pound, c'est rapport avec le tordu. Mais lui, il veut pas que je vais à la boucherie. Donc, soit on va à la boutique où ils vont les merdiers, soit on va là où il y avait le... Putain. Mais si je vais à la boucherie, ça va les écouter des emmerdes. On va aller à la boutique. The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. The Lucky Pawn. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop, Putain, so the Lucky Pawn. So That's where the... I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. Dans la pour the lucky pawn. Bloody Mary. That's where I borrowed the money. Oh, yeah. The crooked man's behind that place. I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but 
Is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Okay. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Pour la bonne cause. Mais on n'en parlera pas à Blanche Neige, par contre, parce que Blanche Neige n'adhère pas quand je tue les gens. Là, c'est bonne raison, je vais tuer un salopard. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you? I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ah, really? What? Big B's here. Oh, this is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, well, you hmm. left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. Ben, on prend pas. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, you know maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance, a loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. It shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Shut up. I know who you're talking about. Um, Ogfrey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Qui sait? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Alors, qu'est-ce toi? If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. Who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. It really grows on you. Don't. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more... Entrepreneurial bout. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In Mais fact, as far as ressemble. I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? 
Yeah, that's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the Crooked Man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me, and I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. Steel trap and all that. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... No, can't you just swing by later? Yet, it really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Okay. No, y a pas de hache ici, non. Peut-être la deck, on va voir ça. Ça me dit quelque chose la deck. This is Prince Lawrence's deck. Who sold no, this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh, who cares, really? How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. The Headless Horseman? Isn't this Crane's? Maybe. I don't know. Vitrine, on s'en tape. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a là Vitrine, on s'en tape. Vitrine aussi. Urne. Coussin et épingle. On va d'abord regarder le vase. Alors c'est quoi ça Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay Qu'est-ce qu'il y a derrière cette porte Cristal. Hmm. Just my luck. Merde. Bon. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? What you gonna fill me? Oh, okay then. Bon, ça je pensais rien. Je sais pas. Oh, inutile. Putain, y'a vraiment rien dans ce magasin, quoi. On aurait peut-être dû aller à la boucherie. C'était une petite perte de temps de venir ici, en tout cas. Mais bon, je voulais éviter de foutre la merde. Et en même temps, Bloody Mary, j'ai pas envie de m'y refaire face, surtout qu'elle a failli m'éclater la gueule. Oh Tu sais à qui tu l'as vendu. Uh, uh, what I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. Mm. I don't. Really. Do I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell everything. me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? 
You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No! No! I had no goddamn idea! She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. She say anything about... about the crooked man's plans. About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system okay. if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. Mm -hmm. But you... you're the guy who makes sure that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. Okay. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is Zach's you... even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Hmm. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Tu vas te calmer, papi. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. Hmm. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Jack. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try, you backwards fuckwit! Oh, big talk! You won't be talking when I'm done with you! Yes, yeah, I'll be laughing. Ha ha! <laughs> How you feeling today, Sheriff? Oh, putain! Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the Je vais la gueule. You ain't so tough. You fucking motherfucker! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. What the fuck? Asshole. I found her. Oh. 
よし家のクリーンもクリーンSa gueule, j'en viens. But I do know this. Oh! Oh, shut the fuck up, will you? Out of smoke? Ouais, tiens. I'm not gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Maintenant, tu sais quel est ton camp. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. Mm, Get the fucker who did it. Et le but is that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. I'll 
Sea. Je pense qu'il n'y a plus personne maintenant dans la boucherie. Mais c'est pas très grave. On a quand même. On sait pas mal de choses maintenant. Et on sait vers où aller. On fait le mec. <rire> Alors. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Hmm. D'accord. Right. Hmm. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Hmm, D'accord. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Un intéressant. Continue. Utilisé. On va faire le mec aimable. Big B Wolf. Salut. Qu'est-ce qui happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh... The Lucky Pond. Yeah, or some place like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on it. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Putain de merde. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Si t'as tué qu'un seul ami, un de mes amis, je te re... tu vas être pendu parmi. Hmm. Je le pends par les pieds, le bonhomme. Où il est ce con Arrêtez de joke. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You've got to hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? Just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. 
Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. How do you the do? crooked man's people. Jersey yeah, Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm okay. telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Okay. It's all right. So don't... I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. On there the would be the... Pas coup fort, une bonne âme. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il cache Qu'est-ce que c'est que cette merde Run. Courez. En appuyant sur ton bouton, ils viennent se barrer. Black Forest, no C'est quoi Oh my god. Qu'est-ce que vous faisiez What is this Vous faites des expériences, c'est ça I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. That's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Pas que ça fout t'écouter. Allez, on s'occupe de ça. Toujours sur la menace. So this is what Feast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Très bien. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ces paquets? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? No, it's bon. Putain de merde. Qu'est-ce que c'est qu'il y a dedans, là? What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Putain, si je serais rentré, que j'aurais pas essayé de lui parler au gars. Je serais arrivé plus tôt et j'aurais pu voir. Putain de merde. Maybe just don't les chaînes là. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains. It's it's all the fucking same. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. What the hell is that? Ça 
calls him the key. this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. Seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Hey, kids. Je suis André. That sick piece of... <laughs> Shit. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh... We'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Je t'en prie. Bon. Bonne chance, Mike Joe. J'ai des trucs à enquêter là. Ah, je me demande si, si je serais allé euh, sans sonner, si ça aurait changé quelque chose. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? Mm, I thought you were going to report way. back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? Hmm, il porte du temps quand tu te bouges. Mm -hmm. Merde, j'ai right. pas eu le temps. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, up. Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? And don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? Hmm, I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above, and was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there, if that has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. 
heard straight from you that- It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Let go. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Why me? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. That's off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pond, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get points. We got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I what? mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? If he's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. Well, I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or... Maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Okay, Nickel. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm Stop sorry, you. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> He's probably still waking up a little. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. I'm out. What? 
just happened. We mm. pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Ouais. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Just show me where I can find the crooked yeah. man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. No, on a pas mis un sur lui. Qui c'est? The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. Ah, c'est pas le truc Central qui Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, soirée, but I'm gonna get there before true. it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. No. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Désolé, je vais le tuer pour le bien de la bête et de la belle. J'ai promis aux deux autres et toi, tu, tu crois que le bien arrange les choses. Hmm, d'accord. Donc c'est ici. Alors fils de pute. On va t'éclater la tête. Hmm, un passage. Très bien. C'est parti. J'espère que c'est pas un piège. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good Kisa. evening, Sheriff. Salut, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Putain, c'est bizarre, ça. C'est qui Tim Tim, 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 Tim dans les comptes, Tim. Putain, j'arrive pas à me rappeler c'est qui ça. Tim. Bon, on va droit sur son truc. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Well, I so just man. keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. Putain, what we don't mec. need is a war. 
Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Putain, mais c'est abusé. Je dois le tuer, mais... What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. Tell me who the so fuck is back I there. Problem. I... I don't worry. exactly know. I, I just mind the door. I might the boss the is there. I'm sure he will prove himself much. quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or just dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Me. What? C'est toi, espèce d'enfoiré. Thank you, Tim. Non, c'est pas lui. Qui es tu I know the sheriff isn't the ah, accommodating sort. Did you handle it? You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Oh, then. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Et voilà, ce qui mit fin à notre épisode. Ah, c'est dommage, j'aurais bien aimé savoir qu'est-ce qui allait se passer quand même. C'est un peu tendu, là, on a tout le monde. Donc, moi, personnellement, je veux le, je veux le tuer pour la bête et la belle. Bête et la, euh, la belle et la bête, pardon, ça se remet comme ça. Ce qui me demande de le tuer. Parce que sinon ça, ça leur foutrait dans la merde. Mais si je pourrais négocier pour éviter qu'ils sont dans le, on va dire assurer leur protection. Parce que là ça a l'air d'être le cerveau de la ville ce truc. Il est en alliance avec beaucoup de mes ennemis quand même là. C'est risqué, c'est très très risqué. Il bosse, Bloody Mary aussi bosse pour lui. Donc c'était lui qui était dans la voiture. Donc... Euh... Ça va être compliqué. <rire> ça va être compliqué. Je sais pas comment on va se démerder. Euh, comment la discussion déjà va, va se dérouler. Donc, euh, on verra bien. Et le dernier épisode est pour samedi prochain. Donc, il va falloir être patient. Donc, actuellement, là, j'avoue que sur les deux derniers épisodes, ils ont été beaucoup plus intéressants. C'est quand même que les trois premiers épisodes, ils étaient bien. Mais ils étaient très longs à lancer. C'était vraiment beaucoup d'enquêtes. Euh, il y avait moins d'action. C'était beaucoup plus long. Donc euh, ouais, j'ai un peu moins, ça m'a un peu gavé à un moment donné avec beaucoup de discussions, mais là, enfin la fin maintenant, sur ce quatrième épisode, je trouve que là, on n'a pas arrêté depuis le début, on a eu pas mal de, ça a été dévoilé un peu de partout là, on a eu du combat, du fight et tout. Non, franchement, cet épisode 4 était vraiment très intéressant. Mais bon, si personnellement, s'il si devrait faire une saison peut-être 2 sur ce jeu, euh, je conseillerais de mettre un peu plus d'action, parce que c'est vrai quand même que la papelote, c'est bien à un moment donné, mais... Mais je préfère quand ça bouge un peu plus, quoi. C'est plus intéressant. <rire> voilà. Mais bon, on verra. On va conclure ça la semaine prochaine. En tout cas... Ah, je suis impatient de savoir qu'est-ce qui va se passer maintenant qu'on voit le cerveau en face de nous. Alors, livre des fables. Ah, je suis curieux, là. On va faire ça maintenant. Alors, alors... Qui sait, qui sait Déjà lui, là. Qui sait Alors... Euh, tandis que certaines fables estimaient que leur... Euh, longé... Longévité... Et leur niveau de vie s'améliorait depuis que la connaissance de leur monde par euh, certains élus de la, de la commune a eu lieu. D'autres pensent que tout cela n'est qu'un tissu d'illusion, car ces blessures ou maladies font toujours partie intégrante de leur compte. Cette no notoriété empêche leur guérison, c'est ce dont le petit Tim est convaincu, et aucun soin médicaux ni aucune magie, rien de ce qu'il ne peut s'offrir. Pour résumer, ne se sonnera, ne se sonnera sa jambe. Merde, putain. 
C'est une sentinelle, le petit team la sentinelle. Je sais pas d'où il sort en tout cas. Ensuite, euh, lui, le cerveau du coup. Alors le tordu, c'est lentement, mais sûrement construit son appartenance à la dé... Pardon, dans la dizaine liste des personnes les plus puissantes de Fableville, cette opération commença avec une simple pièce euh, tordue et une maison qu'ils qu qu étaient tout autant. Deux choses auxquelles il tenait plus que tout au monde, bien plus que sa femme ou à ses enfants, qu'il tua, putain, plus, plutôt que de risquer de les laisser se mettre en travers de son chemin, carrément quoi. Dans son ascension, le tordu a attrapé dans sa toile criminelle de nombreuses fables, leur donnant ainsi ce dont ils avaient besoin, mais toujours pour une plus grosse contrepartie, rusé et persuasif, c'est un être impitoyable. Le roi du crime. On va le buter. On va le buter, ça fera du ménage. C'est un gros psychopathe. Par contre, on a toujours elle là. La, le cerf blanc. Franchement, le cerf blanc, on, on l'a engagé et jusqu'à présent, elle ne nous a pas encore servi. Et personnellement, si elle nous sert à rien jusqu'à la fin du jeu, du jeu, ça va me faire chier parce que je comptais en la gardant qu'elle allait vraiment nous servir. Mais si c'est vraiment un atout inutile, j'aurais brûlé son arbre. Clairement. Son arbre de shit, son arbre de shit, quoi. <rire> Puis c'est quoi, toutes les fables ayant mis au pied en ce monde n'atterrir pas forcément à Fableville. Il y a celle qui se sont exilés dans les lointains contrées et celles qui ont préféré tout simplement le garde statue à l'Empire State et dont fait partie le diable de Jersey. Les rapports concernant son apparence varient une bonne majorité d'entre eux parlent d'une paire d'ailes en cuir, mais une rencontre avec une certaine hache légendaire il y a quelques années de cela a rendu cette particularité inexistante. Ok. L'idiot de Garden State. Putain, en tout cas, on a tous les plus gros, là. On va la massacrer. Mais il y en a beaucoup qui veulent me défoncer, là. Comme le mec, j'ai niqué son caisse en son, son bar à pute, là. Il est, il est vénère contre moi. Il y a lui, là, du coup, euh, qui est vénère contre moi. Les deux gros qui sont finalement vénères contre moi. Mais je n'ai pas tué l'un des deux. Donc, euh, déjà, ils sont redevables. Et le... Bah, du coup, le, le roi de... C'est en forêt de... Le roi du crime, quoi. Qu'est-ce que c'est, ça L'antre du tordu. Alors, QG. D'accord. Se trouvant dans une église lavée de toute trace religieuse, religieuse ce n'est là que l'un des, des nombreux théâtres des opérations du tordu qui lui servent à faire fonctionner les tréfonds de Fableville avec son atmosphère presque longue. Longue Longue Longue. Non, c'est longue. Et plus agréable qu'un rendez-vous dans un grand viande, dans un garde-viande, pardon. Cet endroit est totalement coupé du monde extérieur et la seule manière d'y pénétrer se trouve dans l'un des nombreux portails marqué du sceau de la roue de Catherine, utilisé par le tordu et, gra et, gra et gravé dans, dans toute la ville et plus encore. Putain, en quelque sorte, quand même, il attendait depuis le début. Hein. Donc, je ne pouvais plus faire ce que je voulais, quoi. C'est abusé. Ah, ces trucs, c'était quoi, ça Il était enfin d'avoir été chanceuse dans ce monde anglotti, une fille. Un morceau de tourner sa faiblesse, sa faiblesse en une âme redoutable lorsque son doigt est piqué, elle n'est plus la seule à être endormie. En effet, tout ce qui se trouve dans le para... dans les pa... dans le dans le parage s'endorme à leur tour. Ceci se révèle par conséquent être un talent force utile et s'ajoutant à la liste des choses qui font de la belle en bois dormant. Bien plus qu'un joli mien. Selon l'ombre au tableau, elle aura toujours besoin d'un baiser d'un prince pour la réveiller. Très bien. Ok, ça j'avais un peu deviné. Bon, le truc de Podan en sans table, c'est quoi ça Non, je suis un adjoint actif en sans table. Euh, Qu'est-ce que c'est ça La belle. Les, les, les belles en argent, ouais, ce que je vous montre moi, ça c'est d'avance. La hache euh, du bûcheron s'ensolé par les druides, on s'en tape. Lui, c'était quoi le. Ouais, lui, on s'en tape. Par le blanc, on s'en tape. Et ça, c'est quoi ça la vie à la ferme. Ah, la fameuse ferme qui parlait. Se dressant dans un lieu idyllique et géré par sa communauté, la ferme semblerait être l'endroit rêvé pour une existence en dehors de Fableville, mais les personnes y avant vécu ont une vie autrement différente. Ils la voient telle que et une prison, un endroit où vous êtes libre d'être, de faire ce que vous voulez, sauf en partir le fait que les fables à l'appartenance humaine ne se soucient guère d'être envoyées à la ferme. Trouve sa réponse via leur position autoproclamée de leader. Donc, okay, donc les, eux, les animaux le voient comme, euh, comme un enfer, mais en vrai, c'est un paradis. 
Donc en fait, ça, ça, ça les rendrait euh, service si je les rentrais à la ferme. Putain, il y a beaucoup de choix quand même qui, qui sont chiants quand même. Hein. Putain, si je fais des mauvais choix, si je décide de ne pas les emmener, ben, l'autre va me faire la gueule. Et si je les envoie, ben, les deux autres vont jamais me pardonner ce que j'ai fait. Et si c'est vraiment un enfer et que c'est faux, cette rumeur, je me fais baiser en quelque sorte. Et je serai le vrai méchant de coup. Mais bon. Et elle, c'était qui déjà Oui, on l'a vu aussi, Viviane. Favorite de Grégory, une grande partie du passé Viviane est connue car elle préfère ne pas parler de sa vie dans les royaumes. Elle voulait prendre un nouveau départ à Fableville, mais elle se trouva à travailler pour Grégory. Ah, ok, c'est le... la femme de main de, de l'autre con. Du bar à la pute. Ok, très bien. Bon, ben bah, les derniers carrés, ce sera pour le dernier épisode. Bon, ben bah, je trouve. Et qu'est-ce qu'on aura loupé alors On n'aura pas, on n'aura rien loupé. On a tout trouvé, putain, dans l'épisode 4. Excellent. Excellent. Bon, on a fait, je pense, le bon choix de partir d'abord au. Le truc à la boutique commencé par le, la, la boucherie quoi. Bon ben voilà, je pense que c'est ce qui conclura cet épisode. En tout cas j'espère que vous aurez kiffé. Bon en tout cas j'ai sûr kiffé comme d'habitude. Hein. C'est vraiment toujours un grand 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 plaisir de, de, de tourner ces épisodes. Surtout je découvre en même temps que vous. Donc euh, et personnellement là cet épisode je l'ai sûr kiffé. C'est pour ça même là maintenant j'ai envie de savoir la suite, de savoir la fin en quelque sorte. De comment ça va se terminer et donc on va quand même être patient mais bon je suis déjà moins on va dire plus pressé que ce qui est sur votre date parce que votre tête c'était intenable je voulais trop savoir ce qui se passait à la suite de ces épisodes mais là sur ce jeu un peu moins bon il n'y a que cet épisode là qui me donne plus envie de regarder la fin mais les autres épisodes c'était voilà quoi bof ça me donnait pas énormément envie quoi mais bon voilà, bon ben en tout cas j'espère que vous aurez kiffé. Bon merci pour ceux qui ont follow lors de cette session. Je vous donne rendez-vous pour samedi prochain minuit pile pour l'épisode final. D'ici là, portez-vous bien, je vous embrasse et peace. Allez, ciao ciao.